On July 29, 2015, Microsoft is going to introduce the most important version of Windows ever released by the company. At least that's my opinion, and I'll tell you why right after this. Hi, thank you for watching my video. I always appreciate when you like my videos and I enjoy your comments down below. So Microsoft is releasing Windows 10 on July the 29th. Why is this like the most important version of Windows Microsoft has ever released? And I'll tell you why. It's where Microsoft is at as a company right now. You see, for many years, most of us needed Windows to run applications, to run our businesses, play the games we wanted to, etc. We needed Windows. Well, the last few years, the game has changed, right? I mean, people are starting to figure out, hey, thanks to cloud computing, I can do my run my business on uh, a Chrome OS or Linux or a Mac OS. I can game on my phone, my tablet. Don't necessarily need Microsoft anymore. That's not a good position for Microsoft to be in. And thus, they've done a massive rethink, and they want us to not need Microsoft, but want Microsoft. And I think Windows 10 goes a long way in doing that. But what makes this so vitally important? Because it's a whole change of philosophy in Microsoft. And a big part of that has got to do with what's called the Universal Windows Platform. And I want to give you some reasons why this is such a game changer for Microsoft. So let's get started. Reason number one is the Universal Windows Platform itself. Well, what is the Universal Windows Platform? Well, it means that there is a guaranteed API against all devices out there, phones, tablets, consoles, uh, even the Raspberry Pi. There's something there for just about any device. Reason number two, it's the focus on experience versus the device that Microsoft says, you know what? It is about user experience, and it shouldn't be dependent on the device that you're using. Reason number three, a single binary can be written to run against all devices. This is huge for developers. Right now, developers have a whole myriad of things that they have to work with to support. Phones, tablets, PCs, etc. This one binary makes life a whole lot easier, and we'll see more robust applications being offered. Number four. No longer will there be separate UIs for phones or PC or laptops or tablets. It's a universal experience with an application. Number five, developers will be able to write one binary that will run on multiple Windows devices. And they'll be able to add extra functionality by making calls to APIs that are available above this baseline. So if you're writing something specific to work on, say, an Xbox, you'll be able to call an API to do that. Or, you know, it could be a desktop app as well. Number six, Continuum. Continuum allows devices to scale the UI to fit the screen or display appropriately. That gives us the same user experience whether we're using an application on a phone, a tablet, or PC. This is huge. Now, we're sort of used to some of this with uh, websites that use the responsive design. So think of it kind of in that term. Number seven. Microsoft is working to extend the benefits of the universal application to legacy apps, your Win32, your uh, .NET applications, etc. Number eight, because Microsoft is working to extend the benefits of the universal application to legacy applications, they'll do that by sandboxing these applications using Windows Hyper-V, for example. This will uh, this will eliminate problems with uh, registry entries, make it easier to uninstall applications, and they'll run more securely. Number nine, Microsoft is offering developers new tools to port Android and iOS applications over into universal applications, making them uh, accessible on the Windows Store and bringing us best of breed applications. Number 10, the legacy apps that I talked about before will also be easier to put into the Windows Store. Uh, this is going to be huge for developers out there to take their legacy apps and get them up there to the store and also be very beneficial to the enterprise just as well. Well, let's talk about some of the cool stuff. If you have Windows PC, I think the idea of being able to run a legacy app in a sandbox scenario, making it uh, less dependent on registry entries, making it easier to uninstall, makes it more secure, I'm all for that. 
Um, if you are for Windows Phone, hey, the ability to run a desktop application, have that same user experience by plugging in a monitor, uh, a keyboard, and a mouse, and being able to use the app the same way you would on a PC, I think that's tremendous. Uh, Xbox is going to add Cortana. You'll have shared play of uh, playing of games on PC with that, so that's huge. Um, and I also think the HoloLens is going to be great too. The augmented reality. Imagine using uh, Excel, uh, Outlook, Office applications with augmented reality. The type of things you'll be able to do with that. Windows 10 and the new universal Windows platform. I think shows that Microsoft really is innovating. This is super important to Microsoft so that we have this great experience amongst multiple devices. They are truly innovating. That's their philosophy. This unified experience across all these devices. Not a separate way of doing things on the phone, a separate way of doing things on the tablet or on the PC, but the same kind of experience across the board. The competition's got a lot to think about. And I'll tell you what, I think this is going to make Microsoft more competitive than ever, but I want your opinion in the comments down below. Talk to you later.